All right. Happy Monday, everybody. Big waves to you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Wherever you at, wherever you you're tuning in today from, we got we got people traveling the world in their RV. Um, and we got people just all over the world tuning in. So love it, love it, love it. We still got people coming in the waiting room. So let us know where you're tuning in from. And word for today, we got some, got a great lineup this week of words. Keep the words coming. Keep the words coming. Send them, send them in to Andrea Rosser. And uh so our word for today, and we actually moved it to Monday because I think it's just a good word to kind of start your week. And the word is distractions, distractions. Um, so thank you for the word. A thing that prevents someone from giving full attention to something else. And I kind of directed the focus to me this morning, and hopefully you can direct the focus to you on the word distraction. And where I went this morning is I went and I said, you know, I got to, um, I got to look myself in the mirror when I wake up in the morning. I got to look myself in the mirror when I got up or when I get up to, you know, tomorrow morning and the rest of the week and ask myself, hey, Brent, are you, are you starving your distractions and feeding your focus? Are you starving your distractions and feeding your focus? And I want to give a great example of this. After this call, um, my good buddy, like a brother to me, Todd Rowland, he does a call every morning, an income-producing activity call. And it's a straight focus call around building income not thinking about it, not dreaming about it, not making posts about, but like, what are you doing to build your income? If you want to go from $10 to $20, you got to grow, you got to get bigger. And so he focuses that 15 or 20 minute call around growing. And so when I look at myself in the mirror with distractions, I go, hey, Brent, are you starving your distractions and feeding your focus. What are you feeding? And so what he's doing every morning is feeding that group focus around making more money. Just one example. And then I went to this. Hey, Brent, remember, remember each and every day, you can't do big things if you're distracted by small things. You can't do big things if you're distracted by small things. You know, I think about Lance McAllister on this. And it, man, he he like Iron Man, triathlon, like gets on a bike. Could you imagine if he got on a bike to go ride it 30 miles? And he's on a kind of like a nature trail, like he's on a trail, or maybe he's on the road, but he's focusing on a piece of gravel. So on this 30 mile ride, I'm going to focus on like little bitty pieces of gravel that could make me wreck. Do you think that's what he does? No. So when I think about you can't do big things, you can't make it that 30 miles if you're distracted by little pea gravel that could make you flip six times. Am I right or am I wrong, Lance? Like, like, like he's focused. He's focused on finishing the ride. And he's not getting distracted by the little small things that, 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 that could twist us up, right? But I can't focus there. I can't get distracted there. I got to focus on the big things. You can't do big things if you're distracted by the small things. And then my other thing on distractions I hope this adds some value to you this morning, was distractions affect the brain. So I went to a study. Here, a study was done, and I hope this helps like it helped me this morning. For every distraction, like, like think about checking your phone. For every distraction, like phone checking, it can take the brain three to five minutes to get back on track. Think about that. That's a wow factor for me. 
that's a lot of time lost from work, from, 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 from producing whatever that thriving you want to do in your day. That's a lot of time lost. Frequent distractions. Here's another thing. Frequent distractions create a psychological hyper alert that activate, activates adrenaline and cortisol production, which is a stress indicator. So if I'm like this big time distractible person, check in, brain focus, three to five seconds to get back on track, what I'm really doing is I'm activating, producing more adrenaline, producing more cortisol, and creating more stress in my life. And guys, this lesson this morning, distractions, was a big one for me. Because over the last couple of weeks, I've let that pea gravel, if you will, Lance, get in the way of my big focus. So hope this made sense to you guys. Andrea Rosser, she's going to talk about how to avoid distracts. I'm going to turn it to you. Well, thank you so much, Coach. And Lance, I wish you had seen the bump. Like sometimes we, we get distracted by the gravel. Sometimes I wish we saw the gravel. So hopefully you're healing quickly over there and recovering nicely and getting back on track. But um, distractions, coach, I feel like you were just beating me with a stick over this one. My toes hurt. Like I've hit every surface because you guys know I am so distractible like when you said the three minutes three and a half minutes to five minutes between to get back on track I thought oh my goodness like 89 percent of my day is wasted because I'm distracted here and distracted there and distracted here so I'm going to talk about how to avoid those distractions so first of all keep your vision and goals in mind so it's important that we start with a good base for our focus. So say I'm, you know, sitting down to my desk to have that intention. Like, I don't know if you guys heard Tammy talking about this a little bit last night, but if I sit down with my intention for the day, I've got my goals lined up. I've got everything kind of figured out what I need to do. Well, then I'm, it's going to be easier for me to have that laser focus when I need it, as I need it. Number two, <laughs> <laughs> produce the chaos in your day. I'm laughing because I'm like, there are so many places that I need to do this. Reduce the chaos in your day. So if we have 20 different tasks, right? Like I don't know my to-do to -do list friends out there, but if we have 20 different tasks that we have to get done in a day, how many do you truly think that you can do effectively? Probably not 20. So see what you can parse down to reduce that chaos so that you can focus on the things that are truly important. Um, and once you've done that, when you look at those tasks, pick the most important one and do that first. So everybody on here probably has heard of Brian Tracy, the book, Eat That Frog, right? Which if you're gonna have to do something horrible, if you're gonna have to do something hard, do it first so that it, one, it's done, but two, it's not the distraction back here where you're saying, oh my gosh, I need to, oh my gosh, I need to, oh my gosh, I need to, right? If I'm doing the laundry, but I know that I really need to be, you know, paying my taxes, I'm not going to get anything else done well because I'm just focusing on taxes, right? Um, number four, control your internal distractions. And I think for me, that's probably the worst distractor is the one that lives with me right in this mirror, right? Like right here. So we need to prepare our mind for work and we need to prepare ourselves to be focused. So depending on what you're trying to focus on, put yourself in the right spot, right? So have a dedicated workspace or if you know, you're know you trying to focus on your loved ones, well, get out of your dedicated workspace and go into a different place, you know, just Try to have your mind in the right spot, right? By moving your body into the same space. And then number five would be remove those external distractions. So if you're trying to focus, well, maybe, you know, step away from your beautiful children, right? If you need to turn off the television, turn down the radio or put on, if you need that noise or something in the background, maybe pick some you know, instrumentals where there's not words that are distracting your mind. Um, you know, if, if 
the kids are being noisy, encourage them to be outside. Or if you're checking your phone, put it in like do not disturb or airplane mode. So you have to take that extra step to go distract yourself, right? So if you put it in a different mode, then you can't jump on social media, right? Where you go, ah, oh, shoot, I can't do it. And that will slow you down enough that you can put it away. Um, and then lastly, have a daily method of operation and map it out, put it on your calendar. So if you know, you know, we kind of talked about before, like habit stacking and all of that. So if you know, when you get up, you want to make sure that, you know, you get certain things done, well, put them in your calendar so that it, you know, this little tool can actually remind us and help us do well, right? If we use it appropriately. So I know I want to do certain things. Well, I'm going to put it in my calendar and it's going to beep at me and say, hey, woman, get your job done. So this was a good one. Great for a Monday. I think we're all going to be more productive because of this. So thank you, coach. No, great lesson. Great lesson. And I've, I've got to say, Lance, I had no idea. I, I was I was using Lance as an example. And then I'm like, why is everybody praying for Lance? I go look at his Facebook post and he literally fell from his bike. So Lance, I apologize, brother. I, I did not. I was not adding insult to injury there. Um, wow. Pray, prayers going up for you, brother. We love Lance and uh, appreciate you being a part of the community, man. Um, so yeah. Wow. <laughs> All I can say is wow this morning. Uh, well, have a great Monday. This was a great word for me. We're going to have a great week this week and uh, let's go out and rock the world. Make somebody have a better day because you showed up in it. See you back tomorrow. Love you, Lance. Thank Appreciate you, brother. Thank you all for you, Lance. Thank 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 you, Lance.